Hi there folks, Borislav247 here with another Days Gone Horde series video where I focus all my attentions on one particular horde. And in this video folks, it's the Lava Arch Horde. And I'm pleased to say most of these methods take place during the day. <laughs> right then folks, this horde is 50 strong. It resides pretty much centrally in the Belknap region. And this is one of four hordes in the Belknap region that is available to take on right from the very start of the game. Now this is their daytime location, where you will always find them. And I'm very pleased to say that their nighttime water location and their nighttime feeding location are very close to each other. That's the night one right there, and just across the road, there's the feeding one. So if you're looking for them at night, they are exceptionally easy to find. A lot of very interesting ways to take out this horde, folks, so let's get to it. Right then, folks, I always like to start with what I consider to be a conventional method, and this takes place during the daytime at their cave location. Now, albeit my conventional methods usually have a little twist of some nature, and in this case, I'm just simply going to use one attractor and gunplay to get the job done here because they're quite well into this cave and just make sure that you have an attractor well in there and then make sure you have some fast firing weapon at this point in the game you should have the SMP9 if you don't I do have a video to show you how to get it very quickly but anyways back to the matter at hand this is how easy this world can be taken out very safely relatively quickly and there we go folks that is one way to get the job done. I know not many people are that keen on using their tractors on small hordes, but you will get the chance to get more of them throughout the game, so hold on. Right folks, this is the next method and it is the easy kill location number one. It is also located very close to their daytime location. And the beauty of this method folks is that you don't require the use of any of your resources whatsoever. I just like to make sure that I actually enter the entrance of the cave area and just basically take out a few of them as they're running out because it's a great opportunity when they're coming out of the cave area here they're very heavily bunched and it gives you a chance to take out quite a number of them very quickly and very easily and very safely. From here I'm basically just looking to take them on a very short run once I get to this stage here, I'm just looking to head down to this area here. And this fence line at the bottom here, I'm looking to jump over right there. And then from here, it's just in case I turn around, I will fire off one or two shots just to make sure that uh, I get them coming around. Because once they lose sight of you, they will sort of stop. <laughs> but not for long. Now I have the luxury, folks, of a bar at the top of the screen there that shows me that this order is just about done. And as you can see, this is no hardship at all taking them out this way. And there we go, folks. That is the easy kill location number one. Okay, on to the next method, folks. Right, easy kill location number two. And this is also located at the daytime location for the Lava Arch Horde. Now, the first part of it is a very easy one because I'm on the wrong side for where I want this attack to go down. You can let off a few shots if you like, and you might be lucky enough to get one or two Freakers coming out, but I just don't bother because they're so far in that cave that you very rarely get any of them coming out. Um, this is a very safe way of taking out this sword, but it is not a particularly quick one. Now, to get to the area I want to be, just get to there, one quick dive roll, and then from here, Anywhere along this section of the rock area, you can basically take them out from. Doesn't matter really where you are because, truthfully folks, they can't see you. So, let's get the show started here folks. I am going to start with a little bit of gunfire, but I will be honest, it only brings out very small numbers. So, uh, really I need to get an attractor in play to get this started. So, um, the one huge disadvantage about this particular method is it is very resource intensive. All your hard earned tractors and uh, grenades and whatnot, which if you're taking this uh, horde on early, 
are not the easiest to come by, uh, you're going to have to use in a horde that is only 50 strong. But before the end of this video, folks, I am going to show you three fantastic locations where you can get your hands on a lot of items that are very, very handy for these hordes. And the beauty of two of the locations especially is they're very close to this uh, horde, so <laughs> you don't have far to go to get them. But anyways, on to the matter at hand, folks. I'm basically just looking to take out the numbers now with gunplay because it looks like most of them, if not all of them, are out. But I did notice one bloody wandering off into the distance. I'm going to have to come off this position to get that one. And truth be told, I don't think there's that many left, so it's uh, getting armed with the SMP9. Where are the last of these ones? Oh, they were hiding, the little fuckers. Not a problem, though. When you have the SMP9, it makes light work of them. And where's this last one? There we go. And that's it, folks. That is the Easy Kill Location 2. I do prefer Easy Location 1, but that's still a good one nonetheless. Right, and folks, on to the Night Water Area method. And this one, folks, is a beauty. Now, I don't refer to this one as an easy kill location because you are not untouchable, but you're not bloody far off it. This is an absolute beauty in the setup. It's a very easy setup, and this method works so well for a great number of reasons. The first is basically once I'm at the location, look at the protection you have from virtually every direction. You're not going to get any surprises from any freakers in the area or the horde. Uh, because they can only get to you one way. The horde that is here have to cross the water in order to get to you, and they're doing it slowly, so they're sitting ducks. Also, folks, any other freakers in the area, again, they have only got one direction in which to attack you from, so you are well, well covered. It's very handy to know when you're not having to think about looking behind your back all the time and whatnot. And as you can see, folks, how bloody easy is this? Uh, there may be one or two that uh, finally get to make a run at me. Yep, there's one right there. And oh, yep, there's a freaker from the other uh, part of this area. Surprising there's so few at the moment. There is normally more, but uh, as you can see, folks, how good is this? And there we have it, folks. That is the Lava Arch Horde done. I don't normally recommend you taking out any horde at night if you don't have an easy kill location but this one is one of the exceptions. And water will come into play on a few of my videos going forward. Right then folks, here is the first location for getting your hands on some really good items very early game. And the first location is basically the power station in the Cascade region. And it's basically located here on the map and where the triangle is right now, that is basically the area that you need to get to. Basically, you need to start climbing up all these uh, stair areas until you eventually get to this point right here. And then it is up this uh, rather large set of ladders here. But once you get to the top, this is where all the items are. And there's quite a few in this uh, one area alone, folks. So start off with a proximity mine. Fantastic to have early game. As well as this, you also get one flashbang and one frag grenade. I'm full up on uh, medkits at this point, but there is a medkit there. There is also a melee weapon, a sledgehammer. And then you have a pipe bomb and an attractor bomb. All in all, just for that one location, a fantastic haul to get, folks. Right then folks, location 2 is actually located in the Belknap region. Albeit in the northern area, it's actually in the town of Marion Forks and the first house is right here on the map folks. Now once you get here, there is a very specific way of getting onto uh, the roof section and into the particular uh, room that all these items are in and it's right here folks. As soon as you go in, just look at this lot. One proximity bomb, one attractor bomb, and one proximity mine. As well as that, there's a hatchet there as well. You've also got ammunition. Yeah, that's nice. Right, folks, on to location three. And this location is also located in the Marion Forks town in the Belknap region. 
truth be told, it's not very far away from Location 2, folks. And very similar to Location 2, you require a very specific route in order to access the two window areas that you need to get in to access the particular rooms that have all these items. And this is the first one right here, folks. Once you're in here, there is a rag there as well as some ammunition, but there is also a fantastic sniper rifle that you can get very early. And if you just go through into the next room, you have a med kit and a tractor and a frag grenade. But that's not all, folks. There is also a flashbang on the bed there. Once you have all those items, just exit the window here and then you're looking to go in through the next one here. And from here, folks, there is also someone you can loot as well as a melee weapon. But the pipe bomb in the toilet there, very important. And then there is another couple items here, a Molotov and also a med kit. Very nice. Right, folks, now that you know where to get your hands on some really good items to take out these hordes, it's always nice to show a stealth option. And I'll be perfectly honest, folks, you're not going to get a much better one for stealth-wise than one of the locations I've already shown. In fact, it is the easy kill location method number two. It works so well for doing this because basically once you are in position, you are untouchable and they simply can't see you. Now, because you don't have the luxury of uh, many bushy areas around here, for obvious reasons, it's all freaking caves, um, this basically all of a sudden becomes a very good viable option. Um, but again, folks, at the same time, after you see the very last method, you'll probably never take them out with stealth like this because there is a very quick and easy way of uh, taking them out, which uh, does use resources, but doesn't use quite as many as what I am basically using here. So it's just the, the cheery process of trying to entice them out of their lair, first of all, and then I'm going to hit them hard with a grenade. And they've already started to move there, so damn, I may not get uh, the full 30 kills that I would like after this. I'm just going to hit them with an attractor bomb, try and get them congregated a bit and get most of them. And after this, I'm not going to use any of the other um, explosives, so to speak. It's more just going to be the Molotovs. Molotovs are very easy to create, even in early game, and you get a lot of them because they're required to take out infestation zones. But, uh, no, they're very handy when you have very few Freakers left and you just basically want to keep it safe. And, yep, there's just one sword right over there, so this one's getting it, and this should basically take out. But, yep, I think that will do it. There we go. Nice. Okay, folks, just one more method to show, and this one is a beauty. Right then, folks, on to the last method, and this is the quick and easy method. And this really is what it says, folks. It takes place during the daytime. It only requires three items to get the job done, because this horde is 50 strong, so it's a simple... Uh, um, process here of mathematics to get the job done. It is one tractor and I want this well inside. Now, I want one grenade and I am going to wait until they are very well congregated around that tractor to make sure I definitely get the 30 kills. Okay, after that I will have their attention, they're all coming out and all I need now is one attractor bomb. That's it folks. This horde is done. Thank you very much. And that is the Lava Arch Horde well and truly taken care of, folks. That's the end of the video, folks. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed the video.